Hello, in this video we're going to talk about the publicize feature of Jetpack. Now I'm going to start out by assuming that you've already connected Jetpack to your WordPress.com account as I showed in a different video and you can tell that by the fact that it is not telling me that I need to across the top of this screen and that I now have configure and activate buttons on various features. So here we're going to talk about the publicize feature and the first thing we need to do is turn it on and configure it. So what Publicize does is it allows you to set up connections to some social media accounts that your library may have so that when you write a blog post on your library's blog, it gets cross-posted to things like your Twitter account, your Facebook account, etc. We'll focus mostly on those two because they're probably the most commonly ones used ones, but there are others available. Um, I'm actually doing this on the Big Talk from Small Libraries website uh, for no other reason than I do actually have to set this up so that when I post here on the Big Talk conference site that it goes automatically over to the Big Talk Facebook page. So I'm going to go ahead and find Publicize here and I'm going to go ahead and then click Configure. This will take me to the new screen and right now I'm mostly going to focus on this stuff up at the top. There are other features down below as you can see Google Plus Profile and some other things. I'm purely going to focus in this video on the Publicize portion here. Right now, uh, as of the making of this video, which is about mid-October 2013, uh, this will work with Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Tumblr, and Path. Like I said, most likely for your library, you'll have a Facebook page, possibly also a Twitter account. I'm just going to set up one, and so you'll see how it works, and then I'll show you a different site where I have several of these services set up. So to get started, I uh, already have a Facebook page separately set up. I'm going to go ahead and add a new Facebook connection. And the first thing it's going to do is check to see if I'm already logged into uh, my Facebook account, which on this computer I am. So um, it's skipping a step, and the step it's skipping is asking you to log in. If you are not already logged in, you will be asked to provide your login credentials for your Facebook account. Once you have done that, you will get to this screen, and your uh, what you see on this screen will differ than what you're seeing here in this video. In this case, because I'm connected to my account, you're seeing my Facebook wall and the various pages that I have the ability to publish to. Okay? Um, in your case, you might just see your Facebook wall if you have a personal account, and then on top of that, your library's page. So in this case, since I'm on the Big Talk from Small Libraries uh, site, I want to automatically be able to post to the Big Talk from Small Libraries Facebook page. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that one. Scroll on down a little bit and you will probably also want to check make this connection available to user, all users of this blog. So if you have other people from your library who can sign into your account, you want them to be able to cross post also. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Uh, and after a second that screen will disappear and you'll now see that we have a connection from this blog to the Big Talk from Small Libraries Facebook page. If you have others, you can add another one. If you have a Twitter account, you go through the same basic process, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Path, etc. So we've done that, and I'm going to go back to the Jetpack page for just a moment here, and you'll see nothing really here has changed, but the next time I go to Configure, you will see that that information is still set up. So what I'm going to do next here real quick is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a new post to show you what is here. You still have your same title, you still have your same field in which to put your content, none of that has changed. But what you will see over here under the publish area is our status, visibility, publish, and then a new section called publicize. And right here it says Facebook, big talk from small libraries with an edit and a settings. Most cases you should never have to go into settings, you may have to go into edit, we'll talk about that in just a sec. But right now if I was to write a test post, and enter some content. Right now if I click publish this will automatically be cross posted to the Facebook page. That's all I have to do. Now you want to get used to it a little bit, see how um, different graphics get pulled in, how much of that content gets pulled in, but basically what this is going to allow you to do is just write your blog post once, automatically cross post that to Facebook, and then uh, not have to duplicate that content and type it in twice or do any copying and paste. Why you may want to click edit. In this case, really the only reason you'd ever want to click edit is if you, for example, do not want this post to be cross-posted to Facebook. Um, I'll give you another example why I might ever use this, but just to let you know it's available, all I would have to do is click on that edit, 
uncheck Facebook, go ahead and hide that again, and then you'll notice that disappears so that now if I click publish, this would show up on the blog, but not on the Facebook page. Okay. Now, let me show you one other thing real quick to get it a little more complicated for a moment. Um, in the case of my website, my personal website, travelandlibrarian.info, you will see here under publicize Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Tumblr. Okay. What I've done in this case is I have automatically set it up through that configure on the Jetpack Publicize page to connect to all four of my other social media accounts. So if I was to write a blog post here, it would automatically cross post to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Tumblr. Now, one thing I do use the edit for is my LinkedIn account, I generally stick to very professional level things about libraries, uh, things about library employment, that sort of thing, but not Muppet videos. Muppet videos can go to Facebook, can go to Twitter, can go to Tumblr, but probably not my professional LinkedIn account. So if I was to say create a blog post about Muppet videos, I could go ahead and click edit, uncheck LinkedIn, hide that up again, and now if I was to publish this post, it would only go to Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. So as you can see, uh, there are some other features of Publicize, which I did not explicitly talk about. Um, and also under Edit and Settings, you may have noticed a couple of things that I didn't mention. What I just wanted to do in this video is kind of show you the core features, how to configure it to make that connection, and then how to turn it on and off on a case-by-case -case basis and not have to duplicate that content that you post on your blog, have it automatically duplicated to things like your Facebook and Twitter account. So, as always, uh, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments area on the blog post in uh, the project blog. Thanks a lot.